can do more with your lumber than a monkey can do with a hot football. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Today we're going to talk about something that I have touched on on previous videos, but I still get a lot of questions on it, so I want to go into a little more in depth. The drag back shoes, the ledges, that I have installed on my sawmill. These shoes are not limited to just wood miser mills. I know folks have done them to various other mills. And I'm also gonna just do a compilation of sawing that I'm doing today and show you why these are so useful. Basically, they allow me to drag boards all the way back or drop them anywhere in between and also to stack boards on top of other boards that I've already sawn without having to stop sawing, without having to manually move the boards. Now, most drag backs don't have shoes, which means as soon as it grabs, basically it grabs the back of the board and as the thing slides forward, as soon as the freshly cut board or boards goes past the end of the cant, the board flops down to the sawmill deck. The helper, the sawyer's got to reach way up front has to reach way up front and pull everything back. Doesn't sound like a big deal. It is. That's a lot of movement. Much better is to install these little shoes and the boards will slide back past you safely and you can put them anywhere you want to. So let's, let's look at the components to this setup. First are these guys. These flex. As the board hits these, these simply pull it back. These are the shoes that are welded on them. These are about an inch by an inch by one half inch. These shoes or shelves allow a board to pop up, drop on these, and then these simply hold the board up as I drag it back and I can drop it anywhere I want to because if I just jog the head forward a little bit, the board will fall off these shoes and fall to the deck. These guys are guide fingers. They move forward and backward. But they do not move sideways. So this part of the mill grabs the end of the board and holds it or supports it. These keep the board from sliding sideways. Between this re restraint and this restraint, you've got boards coming back straight. Uh, my old LT40 was like that. It had a drag back, but it did not have these fingers. That's dangerous because as you're pulling the board back, if it comes back all the way to here and it's off at a funky angle and you're standing right here, this board can hit you in the leg and break your leg. My recommendation is if you've bought a sawmill that does not have some sort of guide fingers to hold or constrain the front of the board to keep it from going sideways and breaking your leg or doing erratic stuff, you should buy them. Call up your manufacturer, make you some. I've done both. Basically what you have, a flexible finger that rides over the board. This has a pivot to allow it to go up and down so that if you ever get jammed up, it doesn't break those bolts where it mounts to the sawmill head. Basically, the entire system is designed to go up and down, not move sideways. Because you do not, once a board's caught right here, you don't want it moving sideways. You want everything coming straight back. Woodmiser put some hazard tape <laughs> on that guide. I guess because if you're leaning over the sawmill, you don't want to get hit in the head with it. That would suck. On my LT40, I didn't have these blocks. I actually had a piece of channel come under a piece of steel and it rode on a piece of steel. The main thing is you want a ledge on your drag back system so that the board can pivot up and the end can lay on the edge and can't come down. And as long as you keep forward or reverse progress, you can carry that board. There is another very important thing. You want a smooth outfeed table. Since the boards are only being held by that little bit of metal, it's like your fingers. If this board goes clicking and clacking like 
a non-smooth surface, it's gonna have a tendency to dismount from those fingers. An LT70 table is smooth. It's the way it ought to be. For my LT40, I built a wooden table that is smooth. This is oak. Don't worry about using wood if you have to use wood. I mean, you own a sawmill. As long as it's smooth, the boards will slide along it like they're greased. There is one kind of table you do not want to use with a drag back. A roller table of any kind. What happens is as the board has been pushed back, it thumps, 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 thumps. See, it jumps, and at any time, it will fall off the drag back fingers, the shelf. See? About like that. This table is sold as a off-bearing table for a sawmill. You can tell whose brand it is. It's orange. You'll also notice that the one thing I'm not using it for is as an outfeed table. Look how much the board hops. These are the ones you don't want to use. I guess there's really four components to this to make this work well. You need a drag back of some kind. Then you need to put the shoes on it. Then you need to make sure you have guide fingers. And then lastly, you need to have a smooth outfeed table. Having a roller at the end does help moving wood over here. As you're watching me saw, there are some things that you'll notice. When I'm wanting to stack wood, and I want to drop another board on top of it, I will drop it before I get to the second table. So that allows me to stack board on top of board on top of board. If I want to get it to push out of the way, I will drop it past that second table or on the second table. Typically, as the boards come off the cant, the edge is going to drop, hit this, and push both stacks of wood back. Then, if I want to keep stacking up, the most I have to do is pull this board off to the side or this set of boards off to the side and make room for the next load. And I think in the last video, I'll see if I can't find the clip, you'll see several times where I was able to basically saw an entire log besides the slabs and stack them all on this table without stopping. If I had a hydraulic mill with a drag back, I would not operate it until I welded some shoes on there because it lets me put boards here, it lets me put boards here, it lets me put boards here, and it lets me do multiple layers, multiple rows. And let me tell you what, it is a huge, a huge work saver. And if you don't have them on there, you're hurting yourself, trust me. And I'm probably gonna pick up some clips from a few other videos that I've done and I'm going to show you just how much manipulation you can do on these and how the technique is important to get it to fall and land on the edge. Basically, it's a double bump. You go up to the boards you've just sawn. You kick them loose, break the stiction, which is the sticking friction. Um, then get them sliding. And then just as about they're about to seesaw off the front of the cant, pick them up with the shoes, and then start coming back smoothly. Once you've got them on the ledges of the shoes, if at any time you want to drop that board, you stop the head, the board momentum will go forward, it'll drop to the deck. So it's really a double bump. Break it loose, slide it back. As you're sliding it, it'll seesaw up or, can't, or seesaw up, the edge will come up, then just don't stop until you're ready to dump it. You know, the bark slabs that are coming off, I'm going to try to drop those right off the cant as they come back so I can put it on the roller table. And then the boards, I'm going to try to slide back a good ways. And some that I want to stack, I'm going to stop quick so I can stop the top of them. Just watch what I can do with these little bitty hunks of metal welded to the stock drag back. Huge time saver. Another board off of this one. Drop this, run those guys out. 
I'll pull these off and lay them right on top of each other's stack, right there. Look at that. Boom. Set my clamps, move all my stuff back, clamps down, bring the head up. Let's feed this off again. Once again, you just saw me saw off an entire log without having to stop. All by my little lonesome. Feed these all the way back. Way back. back on the lay them on top of these other boards. Right about there, drop down. Hope some of this was useful. Um, you guys with manual mills, sorry, can't help you on this one. I try to do content that applies to everybody, but if you have a hydraulic, if you have a power return, put on some drag back shoes and you can do anything with it. You can do more with your lumber than a monkey can do with a hot football. We will see you guys next week and uh, y'all have a good day. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.